Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and it seems like every single year with the new Call of Duty, we deal with this problem every single time. There always seems to be at least that one overpowered weapon that just completely sweeps the nation of that Call of Duty. And this year, it's no exception. The, the ASM-1 and the BAL are the two most overpowered and most overused guns in Advanced Warfare. And this video is to just talk about that kind of situation, possibly think of solutions uh, fixing that problem and even getting suggestions from you what do you feel like could be the solution to this problem because advanced warfare it's a very fun game it's very versatile it's very different something we haven't really dealt with before but the guns is something that we have dealt with all the way back to call of duty 1 call of duty 2 even before call of duty 4 right and there's always been guns that have been better than other guns that's going to be normal that's going to be it's going to be something exceptional in every single call of duty the difference between a good gun and an overpowered gun, I feel like, is that if you're able to pick up a gun, right? If you're able to pick up like the ASM-1 or the BAL and go on a 5 kill streak rather than using the ARX or maybe the, uh, the IMR, rather than using those guns and not getting on a 5 kill streak, I feel like is the difference between a good gun and an overpowered gun. All the way back into like say like Black Ops 2, right? The MSMC was an awesome submachine gun, but the MP7 had better fire rate, the PDW had better, I think, accuracy and damage. So there were better submachine guns than the MSMC, just the MSMC was an overall better submachine gun. Here in Advanced Warfare, the BAL, it's, it's, has awesome, awesome damage, has awesome, uh, what is it, handling, really manageable recoil, and manageable accuracy, right? It's just an overall one of the best assault rifles in Advanced Warfare. If not the best assault rifle, then pros possibly one of the best guns in Advanced Warfare. The ASM-1 has amazing fire rates, quick and awesome, and huge packing damage. The accuracy is just on point. The only thing that it lacks is range. Uh, what can you throw on to that? I think it's Matt. What's that one? Uh, what's that one attachment called that can increase range? Either way, there's an attachment that can increase range, so it's just a beast of a gun. It's a, a powerful assault rifle at that point. You see me right here using it right, uh, you see me using it right here. I think it's called the Magnitude ASM-1. It's just taking people out left and right, left and right. I have a red dot and uh, I think a foregrip on there. It's just, it's so good. It's so much better than all the other submachine guns that... The KF-5 is decent, but it's not better than the ASM-1. The M11, MP11, is not better than the ASM-1. Just by far, no variant. Even the even the elitist of weapons, even the elite version of some machine guns, are not better than the base than the, the than just the basic ASM-1. That shows that there's a problem. Even the elite variants of the ASM-1 and the BAL are just too, too freaking good, man. They're just too good. The Obsidian, uh, the Obsidian Steve for the BAL is has so much damage, and it's just powerful, too powerful at that point. It's like a two or three shot kill at any range. Uh, the Speakeasy and the uh, other ASM-1 elite variants, it's really good. <laughs> it's so good, and it just seems like these guns are just too powerful. The M16 COD 4 was awesome. It was amazing, but you had to be skillful because it was a three-shot burst weapon. It was good if you were good. I just want to take a second and look at the kill feed, by the way, of this game. Look at the kill feed. You'll notice that the only two guns that you will see in the kill feed is the ASM-1 and the BAL. Just look at it. Just look at it run. Just look at it go. You'll see that... That, that no other gun is being used in this kill feed. Let's go back to the actual gameplay so we can talk about this some more. Obviously, this is a problem. I feel like it's a problem. You may think that it's not, but when the two most powerful guns are the only guns being used in a game like you saw in that kill feed, there's a problem. There's no point in adding any other guns then. There's no point in using the AE4. There's no point in using the AK or the... Uh, I don't know, other snipers or light machine guns, there's just no point when I can just use the ASM-1 or the BAL. But the thing with me is that I want to try to use variety. I don't want to be boring and use the same gun throughout this whole season of Advanced Warfare. It gets boring really, really fast. So what can they do? Obviously, the first decision is nerf the two guns. Bring down the damage, not add more recoil because you can manage the recoil with the BAL. Bring down the damage. 
possibly another thing, maybe raise raise the damage for other guns. But you saw what happened with that. They raised the damage for the submachine guns, and then the ASM1 became one of the most powerful weapons. I want to hear from you. What do you think can fix this problem of the two most overpowered guns? I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day, and bye.